Siren Warrior. Finally, welcome back to another episode on the Silent Warrior. We're out. After four weeks of hideous weather, solid rain, I've been working in the rain, working in the rain. There's just been no chance of me getting out on the boat. I've been doing a few little bits and bobs here and there. I've actually done a bit of pike fishing, surprisingly. Lost a few fish, but I've not managed to find one yet. Anyway, tonight's mission is we are going to try and find a thorn back. We've been kissed on the dick tonight with this weather. We've got no wind and no rain until about three o'clock in the morning. So we are out here for the night. Hopefully we bump into a few bass while we're doing it. I wouldn't mind taking one home for dinner and doing a little catch and cook. But ideally, we're looking for a big thorn back. We want a nice big double figure thorn back. This time of year, we're getting running through our local waters and you do get some monsters. So that's the idea. Let's get out to the mark and then uh, I'll go through how we're setting it all up. We're at the mark. It is beautiful out here. I'm keeping it as simple as it gets tonight. It's a fixed ledger. We call this a helicopter rig. We used to use them for wrecking back in the day. I've got about six foot, 50 pound fluoro carb uh, carbon down to a panel rig. Double hook. What I like to do is keep this hook quite far up. So if the ray does deep hook itself, you're able to get down in there and get it out. Uh, we have got every bait you can think of for race. We've got Bluey, Joey Mackerel, Sandhill, a few packs of Peeler Crab, a one pound box of squid. Now, thornbacks can be fussy sometimes. I've fished this mark before, and we've been fishing for three or four hours with the classic squid and bluey wrap, squid and sand hill wrap. Um, we've not had a single bite. I've put a peeler crab on and they've hammered it within five minutes. And then we kept on using peeler crab, ended up having about nine rays in one session. Again, I've been down here fishing for thornback, uh, for smooth bounds, and we've been using peeler crab as soon as I switch to sand hill, whack, thornbacks are on. So you've got to try and figure out what I'm using. So I'll use a variety on each rod for the starters. And then once I start picking up fish on a certain bait, I'll start edging all the other rods into that bait. I'll get these, uh, get these baited up and get them sent out. Let's see if we can pick up a big old fawny. Now that's the sort of baits we're looking at. That's the squid and blue wrap. It's quite a big bait to be honest for this mark, but we're going for it. Only fishing in about oh, I'm in fourteen point two foot of water. This mark is a really, really shallow sort of surf beach. It's got a couple of little big deep, little big deep. It's got a couple of deep holes. It's quite well known for the shore anglers. It's called Hillhead. It's uh. It's probably one of our best marks for thornbacks in the Solent. There is a few places that are very similar. You always want to look for sort of broken, clean, broken ground, gullies, sand. That's where you'll find them. That's the first bait in. Let's get all these other baits in and uh, let's get a big fish. Look at this, they're burning off some, some oil down at the refinery. For this dirty grape that's actually a cloud i think that cloud is always there <laughs> it comes from this that is unusually big flames out of them chimneys normally there's a little glow 
but they're really bad enough some fuel tonight. Dirty bastards. We've gone on the spinning rod. It could be funny if a thornback picks this up. We've got some uh, some peeler crab on that. There we go. A little peeler crab bait. Just getting a little bite on that right hand rod. Yeah. We get a bite. Keep an eye on that right. You probably can't see it on that camera. Let's get this thing out quick. Either a small dogfish ripping it apart or whiting. But it's a good sign. First bait's in the water and it's getting picked up by salmon. We'll keep an eye on it. Fingers crossed. We start fighting them. Fucking stuff is banging around on this boat. It's a noisy boat. So what we've got is we've got bluey on this rod. Bluey and squid. Big bait I showed you. On the other boat rod here in the middle. We've got a, another little bit of bluey and squid, smaller bait. I've got a peeler crab sent out on the left hand rod. And we have got some ragworms. And if you're an OG subscriber, you'll know that I've got my fishing gear stolen. But we have been to JJ's last cast saloon in Gosport today and picked up a lovely new spinning rod. So it's uh, a squadron free. Uh, I think we've got, yeah, the 14 to 24 gram. 42. Should know me, Rods. 14 to 42 gram. And I've just paired it up with a little pen battle free. It's a beautiful little setup. That is what one of my setups I had when I, when I got my, uh, my gear mixed. And uh, you know. Yeah. You'll know when you've got a new rod and reel, you've got a crit in it on the day that you buy it. Otherwise, it's a cursed rod. Simple as. We've got some bass, we've got, well I think they're probably bass, a load of birds working just over here. And they're diving as well. When I was driving through Leon Solent earlier, this is a I mean, the, it, it looks like we're in the Bristol Channel. It is dirty water, but there's still fish feeding. Up on the surface. Let's get this set up. I'm quietly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick, I'm going to stick a scratching rig on this. Because I've got to catch something on it. There's no point going big and blanking on this rod because there'll be no point ever using that rod again. We're still getting bites on this. Something's going on. It's quite a big bait. So it's probably small fish.
small fish pecking at the end. Let's move that out of the way. That's it, it's good. Yeah, there's shoals of fish going on the on the round on the fish finder. We're gonna have a good night tonight. I think we're gonna find some big bass here tonight. We've got a big shoal of bass working over here. They're probably all small fish. But it's a good sign that there's some bass in the area. Ain't gonna be mackerel or scad. The only other thing, the outside chance it could be some herring, but I highly doubt it. I don't think they'll come through this chocolate water like this. Let's get this other rod set up and see if we can scratch something out on it. I might be a little bit hasty with these because we've Settle up on that line, and you'll get you'll get little bods. You really got to let that ray scoff the bait down before you really do anything. But a few good bites on there. We're gonna be in for a good night. Ah, oh, it's a fucking great seal just popped up in front of me. You don't want to see that. thing you want to see. Fucking great seal popping up. When I was coming down the handle actually I saw two. One had a bass in its mouth maybe, oh, I don't know, two or three pounds and the other one was just mooching along in the shallows. But There's definitely more and more of them popping up. There's another one, oh, probably the same one. He's popped up. Yeah, they're so fast he's popped up maybe a hundred yards away in that time. Very quick. Not my deal though. Still haven't got this other rod set up. Right, yeah, we got a fish. Both rods bouncing around at the moment with small bites, small fish, but that's good. If there's small fish in the area, there's predators, simple as. So, uh, we're gonna catch fish any second. It's gonna happen, mate. 
just trying to set up some light so you lot can actually see. Getting bites and everything, and not hooking up. This is mad. All of the rods are having a big bang every now and then. blaming it on. <laughs> Rusty old irks from the bottom of the boat. Yeah, I reckon there's a lot of white in there. The only rod that's not getting bite Regardless of what species it is, because we all know what it's going to be. <laughs> it's still christened. No, it's not christened. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not counting it. Ah, oh, come off! <laughs> it was a dogfish anyway. It was a dogfish. I'm not counting it. It needs to be a semi good fish. Well, anything apart from a dogfish, I'm going to say. Because dogfish is shit and they haunt me. Absolute haunt me. Oops. Getting bites on a lot of the rods, though. Oh, these bastards. <laughs> Not tonight. Oh. 
That's a bass. That's a fish. That's a better fish. Oh, that's a bass. We're going to need the net for this one. Good boy. Probably a conger actually, that is spun up to fuck. Yeah, that was probably a conger rather than a bass. Which you do start, we have started seeing them on these marks, which is a shame. I'll get that untangled. I'll get this dogfish sent back. Have a little cry about losing that fish and uh, regroup. that christen two waiting on the top hooks they're ideal for ray baits and a dirty dog on the bottom somewhere anyway. We need a big old dirty film back now. Or that that was either a conga, my rig was tied tangled right up, so more than likely that was a conga. Which if it was, even though I hooked him, it'll be feeding down there again. So we'll find him. There we go. <laughs> Bites on it straight away. I need to get some of these rods back in the water. We need a big old slab on the deck now. Right, we've got all the baits back in the water. After dealing with all these pest fish. I'll get some tip eye, uh, rod tip lights on all of these so you can see them better. But we really need to uh, hammer out a nice big fish early. Take that pressure off. It's been the first weather window I've had in four weeks so they're about to get out of the boat. There is a bit of a breeze to be honest, nothing is going to bother us but it's supposed to be nothing. I'm hoping they don't get the rain forecast wrong as well because they don't need that. But it's, uh, now it's starting to get dark, it is, uh, the temp is really dropping. Get some tip lights on these and uh, get them lit up. Before we could even do that. 
to get through these tonight. We're in less than 50, oh no, we're in 16 foot of water now. And we're still finding these bastard fish. Nice to have busy rods. It's not nice to be picking up horrible fish like that. We need proper fish. Right. Well, I think I think we've hooked up to our first storm now. If we fall through all them dog fishing waiting. Rod screamed right over, I didn't have enough time to press the cord. <laughs> Yet, no, right. This is 
what we came for. It's hard work getting that in the net on my own then. There's a spot in the old morning. Yeah, go for that bait down. Yeah, here we go. That's what we're going for. Let me get these hooks out. And we'll have a good look at him. I'm not going to weigh him. He's probably seven or eight pounds. Probably a little bit bigger. Can you hear him chomping? <laughs> He's a decent sized fish. Well, she's a decent sized fish, rather. There we go. It's not going to uh, keep trying to wrap up. I can't get a good. Let's let him, let him calm down for a minute. What they do is they tense and roll right up. There we go. I might calm them down. Nah. See what I mean? They roll right up. Let's get a relief video. There she is. She'll either sulk and just sink, or it will flap off. Sulk and a sink then. <laughs> Getting points on three of the rods at the moment. Out on one of the ragworm rods, so uh, we might have a shoulder small fish moving in. It's been pretty quiet for the last maybe hour since we've had that thorn back. I'm not complaining because there's no dogfish coming on board, which is good, it's, it's given the baits a chance. Very quiet though. Might mean that there's some predators in the area, which is uh, nice. Well, might mean that the dogfish just moved off. Just had a pan pan come through on the radio saying there's a yacht drifting not far from me with no power. So I might, might pull anchor in a minute and go and have a look, make sure everything, everyone's okay. Probably only a mile from me, where it's been seen. We'll radio the road coast guard in a minute and see if they need any, anyone to have a look. It'd be nice to find one more form back before the end of the night though, wouldn't it? 
see if we can get a double. And that's the end of our session. We gave it a good go. We managed a nice thorn back. That was the target species. We managed it. Uh, the strap eels have come on the field, uh, feed and they're absolutely tearing me to bits. So that's it. We're giving up. It's high tide. It's half, half, it's half 12 at night now. We're going to start making our way back in. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's completely free and it's a massive help to me. And we'll see you on the next episode of Solar Warrior.